Hi friends, Pastor Bill Full here. I'm in the chapel at Jesse Lee Memorial United Methodist Church in front of one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite sketches. This is from M.C. Escher, and uh, I don't know if you're familiar with his work at all, but he, he likes to, to play on perspective. And so if you look at this portrait behind me, you'll see that the, the water flows uh, and it appears to be flowing down, but at the end, it's part of a waterfall that creates the circle. So obviously, it's, uh, it's not possible for water to do that if you look at the large picture. But if you look at the small sections, uh, it is possible and it looks sort of reasonable. Uh, this kind of represents for me part of the challenge of reading Bible and of being in church. Uh, Jesus says in the Sermon on the Mount, in the sixth chapter of Matthew, um, do not be concerned about tomorrow. Let tomorrow be concerned for itself. Let the day's own evil be sufficient. Kind of giving us uh, an idea that we need to, to focus on the things that are right before us and not be too concerned about what may happen down the road. But uh, Jesus also says in Luke chapter 14 that, uh, that the wise person doesn't start building until they know that they have enough materials to finish it. And so you can't just build one day at a time and hope that at the end everything will work all right. And the Apostle Paul writes that if you sow sparingly, if you plant seeds sparingly, you'll also have a sparing harvest. And so you should anticipate what it is that you want to or need to harvest as you're doing the planting. Uh, the Bible says all of those things, and, and they don't seem to line up entirely with each other. And that can be a frustration for us as we're trying to think about what to do Next, um, it's the beginning of August, and uh, a lot of things are still unknown, but in the near future, some decisions are going to be made, like how school will happen. Um, at Jesse Lee, we'll be thinking about things like children's uh, discipleship classes, Sunday school, and youth group, and what happens with small groups, and worship when the weather gets colder, and, uh, and the variety of challenges that are going to come in trying to anticipate those. A scripture that's very encouraging to me as I think about all of that is, uh, is Jesus said, where two or more gathered, there am I in the midst. And he says that in the, in the 18th chapter of Matthew about discernments. Uh, I'm sitting in the chapel, as I said, and the chapel was the emergence of, of some surprises. The, uh, the property became available. We had to make some quick decisions to, to, to have it. And then in designing the chapel, um, nobody had the whole picture together. We had to have little pieces coming from different folks. And so like this picture, we had somebody who kind of knew this section and somebody who knew here and somebody who knew there. And, and when, we, when we took the time to allow all of those to be in conversation with each other, we could see better what would work and what wouldn't work. And I believe that Jesus is present in that kind of a conversation. So I want you to be praying for the church leaders and, uh, and for the opportunity for us to pay attention to both the details and the bigger picture so that we can never lose touch with the, the primary focus, which is to, to be disciples, to be students of Jesus Christ and help others to find him and the direction that he will bring in their lives. I look forward to being on this adventure with you and God bless you. Bye-bye.